It was sort of almost preordained because my maiden name is Spieler, which is German for player. <laughs> so I guess I didn't have a choice. Hello, I'm Marcia Falco. I am the inventor of the game set. If you've ever owned one of the 10 million sold decks of the set card game, these shapes, shades, and colors quickly gets your heart racing. And the clear favorite among these four testers? Set, 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 set. It's a very, very, very simple game. But for those of you who can't quite figure out why these cards are flying off the table so fast, it goes a little something like this. There are 81 cards in a game of set. The game starts when you lay out the cards. As soon as three are on the table, you can call set. As soon as you see one, you keep going. These three cards are a set because color, purple, purple, purple. They're all purple. Number, two, three, one. They're all different numbers. Shape, oval, squiggle, diamond. They're all different shapes. Shading, solid, solid, solid. They're all solid. And the hardest set to find? This is a now set the hardest one to identify for people because they're used to grouping things according to commonalities, not according to differences. They have absolutely nothing in common. If you take color, I have red, purple, green. Number, one, two, three. Shading, solid, open, striped. Shape, oval, diamond, squiggle. For all four attributes, nothing is in common, but it is a set. The fundamental basis of the game set is set theory. What is a set? It is because they have something in common or nothing in common at all. But Marcia didn't just wake up one morning with an idea for a card game based on complicated math. She stumbled upon it where so many others hit their big ideas. College. I was at Cambridge University working at the School of Veterinary Medicine doing research in genetics population genetics, and studying stuff like coloboma and Charlotte cattle wobbling in thoroughbred horses, epilepsy and German shepherds. And it was during that study that I got tired of writing it out. And so I made little symbols to indicate different pieces of data. And I was working with veterinarians uh, who were not mathematicians. And I was explaining to them how set theory worked, permutations, combinations. And so one of them says, oh, so if you take this one, this one, and this one, you got a set. I said, yes, that's a set. You mixed up three dogs, but that's okay. Then I realized that putting things together was rather fun. So uh, we tried it out. This was our first printed deck. Uh, before that, I was making them all by hand. We had a lot of friends who wanted a deck and we gave those out as gifts before we left England and came back to the States. The eighties were quiet for set. That is, until an unlikely source offered to kickstart the game with some much needed seed money. The kids pushed me to produce them, and I mean, they so kindly offered up their college money. Marsha Falco invented the game for her family and friends to play. In 1988, her kids suggested she market the game. Either they don't want to go to college, or B, they really believe in this game. Both of them went to college, so it was not the end of the education for them. The first time we made them up was in 88. I couldn't get anything done under 5,000. I was gonna sell 1,000, now I'm like, can I sell 5,000? I went back to my retailers and they said, yeah, you can sell 5,000 of anything. If you give yourself two years, you'll get to sell the 5,000. Uh, we went ahead and did it, got 5,000 printed up. They were delivered to the house and you gotta realize that they're all separate pieces. <laughs> So we had basically child labor in our basement <laughs> and uh, we put these games together by hand. We gave ourselves two years to sell them. Well, they were going really quickly. So we figured we had to up the order. And so now we ordered 50,000. Since we brought out the original that we did 5,000 of, there has been a total of nine different boxes. Right here we have the basic drawings of how this box was to be built, specification and directions for the designers at the factories. SET is still a family-run business. And while decades-old game companies like Hasbro and Mattel boast research and development departments, SET Enterprises has been using the same test group for years. 
the first Friday of every month in Arizona, we have game night. It started out with just sort of the neighbors coming and then they'd say, oh, this is fun. It's always a potluck. It is not highly organized. I never know how many people are coming. There'll be families, there'll be young people, babies, up to grandpas. When we have game night, you're free to play any game you want, but I'm always working on something, uh, usually. And so when it gets to a certain point that I feel like it's ready to be opened up to the public, I'll introduce it to the table at game night and show them how to play and get their reaction for it. Often these games don't even have a name yet and not on final form and they're just hand drawn and whatnot. The next game night, I'll introduce it to another group of people and then I'll introduce it to a third group of people. Then I'll say, is any of them going to ask for it? No one says, you know that funny game you showed me? Can, I, can we play that one? Then I'm saying, hmm, there's something wrong yet. Go back to the drawing board with it. So it works as a nice testing point for our games. And our games take about two years to putting it out to the public. And that's why we, as a company, we introduce very few games. Most companies will introduce say 30 games every year and see which one sticks. Uh, we don't. We introduce a game about every other year or so. And after 30 years, fans are still playing set, posting about it and writing to Marsha. I have gotten lovely fan mail across the years. This is one of my favorites of all time. 10 years ago, I had a medical treatment causing severe cognitive impairment. When I began to play set, I couldn't even find the simplest of sets. Initially, it took over an hour to find a simple set. I played set many hours every day. The rest, as they say, is history. My recovery was built on the foundation I prepared playing set. It has literally saved my life. Games usually only win awards uh, the first year they're out, and then they don't win awards after that. But set is an exception. This game, which we were really worried about selling a thousand of, we're now selling them like hotcakes. Still, we're not real sure how long this is going to last. And the best part is they earned their kids' college fund back. Their gamble paid off. How did they know it would? Just that everyone we've showed the game to liked it. 